What's up guys, Joey here with Ugotech and Samsung's mid-range M-series welcomes a new member in the Galaxy M31 whose biggest selling point is a huge 6000 mAh battery. But aside from that, what else is it all about? Let's find out, but first let's take it out of the box, shall we? Sliding off the cover reveals a secondary box that contains our quick start guide and warranty cards. Next up, we have the phone itself in this gorgeous dark blue color. Then below that, we get the charger, USB-C cable, a pair of 3.5mm earphones, and a SIM ejector tool. Now taking a look at the phone itself, you immediately feel its heft in your hand concentrated towards the bottom half. It's amazing that the M31 has a quite normal feeling form factor despite carrying a huge battery. The front panel consists of a 6.4-inch SAMOLED Infinity U display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 the screen has some relatively thick bezels on all sides, and tucked above the small notch is the speakerphone. Moving to the back, we get a glass-thick panel that curves all the way to the sides. Here we can find the more traditional rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, as well as the rectangular quad camera module on the upper left. On the left side, we get the triple card tray with dedicated slots for two nano SIM cards and the micro SD card. On the right, the volume rocker and power button. At the bottom, we have the headphone jack, USB Type-C port, main microphone, and loudspeaker. Up top, we only get the secondary microphone. Powering the Galaxy M31 is an Exynos 9611 chipset with a Mali-G72 MP3 GPU, along with 6GB of RAM and 128GB internal storage. For battery, again, we get that huge 6000mAh cell, which is definitely gonna be the reason you'd want to get this phone. Running the software show is, of course, One UI 2 on top of Android 10. For cameras, we get a quad setup at the back. This consists of a 64 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Stay tuned for our full review for a more complete evaluation of the cameras, but for now, check out these sample shots. Here in the Philippines, the Samsung Galaxy M31 is priced at 13,990 pesos, which isn't a bad price considering that the M31 is definitely in contention for this year's mid-range battery king. Now, what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy M31? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and guys. Stay hydrated.